Why do some people thrive in relationships while others struggle with trust or fear of abandonment? Have you ever wondered why you may feel anxious when your partner doesn't respond right away or why you might find it hard to open up to people? The answers may lie in something deeply rooted in your past, your attachment style. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel where we explore the psychology behind human emotions, behaviors, and relationships. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of attachment styles. Understanding your attachment style is like uncovering a blueprint that shapes how you connect with others, be it a partner, a friend, or even your family. Stick around because this could transform how you view yourself and your relationships. 1. What are attachment styles? Attachment styles are psychological patterns that determine how we bond with others. They originate from our early relationships, particularly with caregivers during childhood. Psychologists John Bowlby and Mary Ainsworth laid the foundation of this theory, identifying that the way our caregivers responded to our needs as children significantly impacts how we approach relationships as adults. These styles act as invisible frameworks, influencing how we handle intimacy, trust, and conflict. 2. The Four Main Attachment Styles Secure Attachment People with secure attachment often had caregivers who were consistently supportive, loving, and responsive. As adults, they tend to have a balanced view of relationships. They're comfortable with intimacy, trust their partners, and handle conflicts constructively. For example, someone with a secure attachment style might say, I value my independence, but I'm also not afraid to rely on my partner. Anxious attachment or preoccupied attachment this style develops when caregivers were inconsistent, sometimes nurturing, sometimes neglectful. Adults with this style often crave closeness and reassurance but fear abandonment. They might overthink a delayed text message or constantly seek validation from their partner, leading to feelings of insecurity. Avoidant attachment or dismissive attachment Avoidant attachment arises when caregivers were emotionally unavailable or dismissive. These individuals grow up learning to suppress their needs and emotions, leading to a fear of intimacy. As adults, they may value independence to the point of avoiding emotional closeness, saying things like, I don't need anyone to be happy. Disorganized attachment or fearful avoidant attachment this style often results from traumatic or abusive childhood experiences. It's a mix of anxious and avoidant tendencies, where the individual both craves and fears intimacy. They may oscillate between wanting closeness and pushing people away, leaving their relationships in a state of turmoil. Three, why do attachment styles matter? Understanding your attachment style can provide incredible insight into the dynamics of your relationships. It explains why you react a certain way during conflicts, why you might attract certain types of people, how you can start addressing patterns that no longer serve you. Awareness is the first step toward growth. For instance, if you identify as having an anxious attachment style, you can work on self-soothing techniques and building self-esteem. Four, can attachment styles change? The good news is, attachment styles are not set in stone. With self-awareness, therapy, and supportive relationships, people can move toward a more secure attachment style. For example, practicing open communication with your partner, seeking counseling, or reading books on attachment theory can all be tools for growth. Five, how to identify your attachment style. You can reflect on your behaviors in relationships or take a quiz based on the adult attachment interview, AAI. Ask yourself, do I seek constant reassurance from my partner? Do I feel uncomfortable with emotional closeness? Do I fear being abandoned or rejected? Identifying your style is empowering because it equips you with the knowledge to build healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Attachment styles may seem like just another psychological concept, but they hold the key to understanding ourselves and our relationships on a deeper level. By identifying your attachment style, you can break free from unhealthy patterns and cultivate stronger connections. Remember, healing and growth are always possible, no matter where you're starting from. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into the fascinating world of psychology. Share this video with someone who might need it. They could be on the verge of a life-changing discovery. Until next time, take care of yourself and your relationships.